Hello everyone and welcome back to Lewis News, your number one YouTube channel for all types of Spider-Man news. In today's video, we have got some more information when it comes to Marvel Spider-Man 2 that I'd just like to share with you. So as we do know, the embargo for the game for first impressions, reviews, gameplay was lifted last Friday, which means that we've got plenty of reviews, we've got loads of interviews to sort through, and obviously I can't cover it all and what everyone is saying because there is so much information going around at the moment, but I'm just giving you guys the key key information and the key bits that I find to be the most interesting and the information that I think you guys would find the most interesting to know. And in today's video, I've got something really, really interesting and I think it's something that a lot of fans of the Spider-Man games have been wanting for such a long time. And this comes from Blitzwinger's video on the game. As far as I know, he's the only one who has spoke about this so far. However, there could be more people out there that have also mentioned the same thing. And that is that Marvel Spider-Man 2 will in fact have battle damage to the suits in the game. And this is what Blitzwinger went on to say on Twitter. He said, I don't think I saw anyone mention this yet, but the suits in Marvel Spider-Man 2 have a battle damage feature, at least the advanced and upgraded suits did when I got to play. The battle damage would disappear after I was done with the mission slash crime. So personally, I believe this will definitely stir some controversy and I've definitely seen some people on Twitter already discussing this and having two sides to opinions because on one hand, battle damage is something that we've wanted from Spider-Man games since The Amazing Spider-Man came out in 2012. You know, we've wanted it in every Spider-Man game since and it's been something that we as fans have really wanted to see because battle damage Spider-Man suits are a big part of the character from the comics and even the Tobey Maguire movies really popularized that Spider-Man battle damage suit. And I think it's also important to represent how the character, you know, he isn't perfect and he can be beaten down. And I think a battle damage Spider-Man is a good representation of how much he's struggling and how hard potentially an opponent can be. And it's something that the first game only did in cutscenes. The final Doc Ock mission obviously had a battle damage suit in the cutscene. And then obviously after you fight Kingpin in the first mission of the first game, your suit gets battle damaged and then that's when you make the advanced suit. But you obviously can play as the battle damaged Spider-Man suit, but from those missions from then onwards, your suit doesn't get damaged at all. At least not through gameplay. And I think this is something that they're trying to remedy in this game. However, your suit will go back to being normal after the mission. So I imagine once you finish the mission, there'll be a cutscene where the suit goes back to being normal. Now, a lot of people are complaining that this takes you out of the game and it completely ruins the immersion. And I do see where they're coming from. Like, I really like the feature of there being a battle damage Spider-Man suit. And I definitely am in the camp of, uh, this is something I've wanted personally to see in a Spider-Man game for such a long time. I think it's something that is missing from Spider-Man games. But I also do get the fact of why they have to revert the suit back to being, you know, normal again after the mission is done. Because obviously, if you get halfway through the story and your suit is absolutely in tathers with both Miles and Peter, it's going to look a bit ridiculous when you rock up to the next mission basically naked. Like, I, that's all I'm going to say. Because I know that me, personally me, I'm not very good at video games. I'm definitely someone that's going to die a few times when I play this game. And I'm definitely going to take a lot of hits. So I do understand why they revert it back. But I can also see why they left it out the first game. Because I feel like if you do get a battle damage suit and then it reverts back after you complete the mission. This will definitely take you out of the game. And it does really ruin the immersion of the story. But oh well, it's a feature that I've been excited to see for a long time. And I'm glad that they're actually putting it in this game somehow. Maybe you'll be able to turn it off. Who knows? I also want to mention that Blitzwinger did say that this is only for the advanced and upgraded suit. He didn't mention if this feature was available on the other suits as well, but definitely for the upgraded suit and the advanced suit, so Peter and Miles' suits, this will be available. And obviously, this won't happen on the symbiote suit either, because as we know, when the symbiote suit takes damage, it just repairs straight away. So there will be no battle damage on the symbiote suit, but it will be on Peter and Miles' normal suits. But there is no word currently on if it will be on any of the others. I suppose it probably would be, because I imagine the mechanic probably works the same on every suit, but we'll just have to see. 
With that being said, let me know in the comment section down below, what do you think about this? Are you excited to see battle damage suits in Marvel Spider-Man 2? If you are, leave a like on this video, and also, just leave a like anyway. We're trying to get to 2,000 subscribers, and like I mentioned at the start of the video, this is your number one YouTube channel for Spider-Man news, so if you want to stay up to date with everything from Marvel Spider-Man 2, MCU Spider-Man 4, 5, and 6, Spider-Man Freshman Year, anything Spider-Man basically, make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell notification button. With that being said, thank you guys for watching, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take Take care and peace.